Uh, we're doing an infinite series with my special guest, A level historian, A level geographer, A level mathematician, Andrew Chow. <clears throat> How you doing? Still doing well, what are we going to be doing? Yep, we're going to be doing an infinite series, and uh, so you give us start the board, and oh, then yeah. uh, I'll take over. Give me yeah? a half part, okay? That's yeah, cool. I'll do the half part. Right. We're going to be solving uh, a few things to help us with this infinite series here. We're going to be doing 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1, 2. Infinity. Uh, we don't know what it equals, um, so we're going to have to figure it out, okay, using uh, a little method, okay. We're going to let this equal S, okay. We'll call it S1. <clears throat> if we were to write this as 1 minus S1, we could then do 1 under the whole series again, one plus 1 plus 1, minus 1, all the way to infinity. So what I should do is equal, this is a minus this. Um, and so if you take away all this from this, you'll be left with the same series. And so if you're left with the same series, then 1 minus S1 equals S1. That's okay. We can move that to the side. 2S1. We can divide 3 by 2, and we'll get a half equals S1. Basically, there's no real way to explain this sort of mathematically, uh, but it's as, think of it as if you can either have a half, or you can either have 1 or 0, depending on where you stop it. If you stop it here, you'll have 1, stop it here, you'll have 0. And so you take an average of the two answers to get a half as your answer. S1 equals a half, we can start to work out another equation, S2. And that's going to be 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 to infinity. Uh, how are we going to work this out? Well, we're going to have to take it away. Uh, I think we can add it to itself, actually. So we can do 2S. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write it out again. Uh, just to make it easier. And we're going to add it to itself, but we're going to shift it on 1, uh, so it's going to be 1 uh, minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5. And so if you see these, if you're adding it to itself, 2s2 two equals 1, nothing, that's 1, minus 2 plus 1, minus 1, 3 minus 2, plus 1, minus 1, plus 1, minus 1. And so we've got this equation, which is the S1 equation. And so we can figure out that if 2S2 equals uh, S1, then S2 equals a quarter, which is the next equation. And we've got these two answers here. We can start working out the big money here. The sum of all natural numbers from 1 to infinity. Uh, we're going to try and figure out what that is, which is uh, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, all the way to infinity. Uh, the series does uh, diverge, it doesn't converge on a number, but we can represent it mathematically with a fraction. Now we've got this question here, we're going to call this one S3, the final one. Okay, so we're going to do S3 and we're going to take away S. 2 from it, take away a quarter from it. And so I'm going to write it out again, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, plus 5. And this time I'm going to be taking away the whole of the quarter equation, if you remember what that is. That was uh, 1 uh, minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5. Uh, and so once we take this away, we can see that these ones cancel out and you get 0 here. Minus or minus 2, 2 minus minus 2, that's 4. Um, 3 minus 3, 0. 4 minus minus 4 is uh, 8. Uh, plus 0, plus uh, 12. It goes up in multiples of 4. And so we can take a factor of 4 out of this, uh, and we can call that 4. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. Dot, 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 infinity. And so we know that 4 times 
S1, S3 equals S3 minus S2. So you can start to do algebra here. So S3, the equation we want, minus S2 equals 4 times S of 3. <clears throat> so how are we going to rearrange this? Uh, we're going to take off 1 from this side. We're left with minus S2 equals uh, 3S of 3. Uh, and we can divide through by 3 to get over here, minus S2 over 3 equals S of 3. Minus S of 2 was a quarter. So right here we can do 1 quarter all over 3, make it minus, which is actually equal to minus 1 twelfth is equal to S of 3. Uh, this is what people accept as the answer to an infinite, this infinite series. But it's still a bit hazy. It's not, it's not really that widely accepted. Uh, it does pop up in some areas of physics, and so we know that there's some significance to it, such as string theory. Uh, but I think that's quite interesting.